Hello, this is Texas Toy Review, and today we have Scooby-Doo Friends and Foes Action Figure Collection. Uh, these are made by Character uh, Ltd. Um, it's a 10-pack. It comes with the Scooby-Doo gang and then five villains. Uh, they run about $20 at Toys R Us. I think it was $19.99 plus tax, uh, which runs you about $2 per figure. So that's not a bad deal at all, uh, especially for what you're getting. Uh, for the package, it comes in a ah, box. It comes in a box with a plastic bubble protector in there. Um, goodness gracious, I'm going to knock everything down here. I'm trying to show you a box. Um, it comes in a plastic bubble protector. Uh, so the heroes are at the top here and then you have the villains at the bottom and side you get some scooby-doo artwork uh, you can see that scooby-doo's face it's a big box uh then you get a scooby-doo face on the other side and some stupid information no one cares about on the bottom uh then at the top you get a you get like a tote handle uh, but on the back you get write up of who all the bad guys are and you get a write up on the good guys. So if you didn't know their last names before, well, you do now. Yeah, they have like a little write up on all the characters. So that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Uh, for the figures. You get a Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is awesome. Uh, Scooby-Doo has a rotation at the neck, which was kind of tight. I hadn't moved that before. Uh, you get a rotation at the shoulder there. <laughs> Just going to call that a shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a rotation at the back shoulder. And you get a... So he can kick a soccer ball. He can... Scratch a flea, and you get a bend at the knee, uh, which these are tight. These are brand new, and <laughs> so some of the joints might might not work with me there. But yes, that's Scooby Doo right there. Pretty cool. I like him. I like the Scooby. And you get Velma, which she can turn her head. As you can see, she gets a 360 wind-up. Her elbow does bend, but not very far, as you can see right there. Uh, for the legs, she can move her leg out that far. And she can move her leg back that far. And she does get a bend at the knee also. also. So, there you go. That's Velma in a nutshell. For Daphne, her head really doesn't turn much. She turns her body. She's the only one with the waist swivel. That I, I think she's the only one with the waist swivel. Um, she can lift her arm that far. Her hair gets in the way for her to move it any further. She can move it back that far. And she gets not quite a 90 degree at the elbow. Uh, for the thighs... They really don't go anywhere, <laughs> uh, I guess, because of the dress. You can tell the articulation's there. It just doesn't work. Uh, then you get a 90 at the knee, almost. So there's your Velma. For Fred, his head turns that way before his chin hits the collar. Head turns that way before his chin hits the collar. Uh, not really thrilled with the head mold on this one uh, I have another Fred that I like better you get a 360 wind up pitch and his elbow not quite a 90 um, his thigh goes out almost about to a 90 there and then you get a 90 at the knee uh, for Shaggy he can do the exorcist. He gets a 360 wind up. 
his arms go almost at a 90. His legs go out about that far at the thigh. And you get, I guess, would be a 90 at the knee. For my Scooby-Doo gang, I like my old Toys R Us Shaggy. I think that's my definitive... Norville Rogers and I like the head sculpt on my old Fred as well I think that's more accurate so I think that will be my definitive not a bad stand-in and if you don't have any then these aren't bad but uh, for Scooby I do like my new Scooby-Doo I like him uh, better than the old one uh, for Daphne I think I think I've got a replacement. I like this Daphne better. I like the new one better. So. Uh, and then we have Velma. I like I like my old Velma better still. Uh, I, say, I say my old Velma is my definitive Daphne. Not bad, but for my display, yeah. Those are... Those are my definitives. They look like the old gang. For the villains, which is the reason why I bought this, we have the Thousand Volt Man, which is really cool. Translucent plastic, got some good uh, mold details for his electricity shock type stuff. And he's got some good paint apps going in there. Uh, you get a 360 wind up with him. Arm bends at the elbow. A little bit more than a 90 there. You get a swivel at the thigh. Uh, then at the knee. His knee goes up about that far. So, yeah. No head uh, articulation or anything like that. It's, uh, his head is molded into the body. For the Ghost Racer, his head will do a 360. He gets a wind-up pitch. Um, his arms don't really bend out completely straight. But he does get a good articulated bend there. Uh, for the thigh, again, it's bent. <laughs> but you go up about that far and you go back that far. Uh, for the knee, the knee bends about that far, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Like my villains. Uh, Redbeard here, he's pretty much a statue. Uh, you aren't going to get a whole lot of articulation out of him. Um, these seem to move, but I feels like I'm forcing them to do something they don't want to do, so I'm going to not do that uh he gets a wind up pitch at his shoulder and that's it for articulation on him both shoulders move and that's it he does come with his sword which is kind of cool really nice sword and you just kind of peg it into his hand just like any action figure um if you're holding his sword forward he is going to fall on his face so you either either am going to be holding him with his sword up like that, like he's about to chop someone. I, th I think I'm going to keep him like that, yeah. Then we have the witch doctor. My friend, the witch doctor, he told me what to say. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ching, chang, wala, wala, bing, bang, come on, man, stand up. All right, the witch doctor. The witch doctor is a statue. <laughs> he gets articulation at the shoulder. He gets articulation at the shoulder. That's pretty much it for this guy. You get this, uh, his staff, which is really cool. has a skull on it, which is really neat. Decent uh, paint apps on that. Uh, very rubbery plastic on these. but uh, And it may come bent out of package. You just straighten it right back up and call it a day. Then we have the beast from the bottom of the lake. Beast from the bottom of the lake is pretty cool. Uh, 
my only gripe about this one, because I really like this, is his feet don't really sit flat. Uh, both of his feet don't really sit flat there. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, sometimes you may have to pose him with him leaning on his tail, which, I mean, that works. So, for articulation, he does get a 360 wind-up pitch. Uh, his elbow moves up a little bit less than a 90. Then you get the 360 at the thigh. And you get the bend at the knee. Um, not sure. This doesn't... This is like that red beard boot. This doesn't seem to want to move. So I'm going to not try to force it. Because I really like this one also. As, so we are just going to kind of purse him. Alright, yeah. Definitely recommend this set. Uh, for $20 especially. I mean, that's a... That's an excellent deal. Um, you get the entire Scooby-Doo gang. And you get five villains to go with them as well. That's, uh, that's a really good deal for anyone uh, that loves Scooby-Doo. So yes, I would definitely recommend this to anyone. Um, uh, if you were getting it for your kids, if you have uh, someone that really like Scooby-Doo and wants them as a display, I would recommend them to them also. Uh, really great deal. Kudos to uh, Character Toys for uh, a job well done. This is Texas Toy Review, and if you like our review, please click like, and please subscribe to our uh, page to see more reviews. Thank you. Hello, this is Texas Toy Review, and today we have... Scooby-Doo Friends and Foes Action Figure Collection. Uh, these are made by Character uh, LTD. Um, it's a 10-pack. It comes with the, what you're getting. Uh, for the package, it comes in... Ah! Box! It comes in a box with a plastic bubble protector in there. Um, goodness. Side you get some Scooby-Doo artwork. Uh, you can see that easy. Scooby-Doo's face. It's a big box. Uh, then you get a Scooby-Doo face on the other side and some stupid information no one cares about on the bottom. Gracious, I'm gonna knock everything down here. Trying to show you a box. Um, it comes in a plastic bubble protector. Uh, so the heroes are at the top here, and then you have the villains at the bottom. And the Scooby-Doo gang, and then five villains. Uh, they run about $20 at Toys R Us. I think it was $19.99 plus tax, uh, which runs you about $2 per figure. So that's not a bad deal at all, uh, especially for...